Onivia, League of Legends highlights. They're not very bloodthirsty, Wolf, and I think these drafts are also going to indicate that we may have a slower start. I think so. Game. I think so, and and I think that it's, it's Offwatch. That's actually very very early survivability gone for him. He's got oh, his. Uh, oh no. Yeah, he does have the Lilting Lullaby. There is a Lantern Ride as he falls asleep. Ghost is going to have to sacrifice Beryl here. I think the play does absolutely nothing. It's a great sidestep there from Bang. His Canyon's over the wall. Dread is going to trade this one one for one. But First Blood Gold will go over to a Freaker, and that's going to work out in their favor. Ghost still thinks it's very, very close. It's neck and neck, but feels a little bit like a no rush 20, much like Valdez and I were experiencing yesterday. As Canyon's looking to try and prove me wrong here, coming for a potential dive. As there's the Ornhorn from Khan, will get the knockup onto the Gangplank. He flashes, but you can't flash twice, and the collateral damage will pick him up. The trade will be there with the Cloud Drake, but it's a Cloud Drake like we were talking about. So. A kill under Keen going to be very valuable here for Dunwon here. Yeah. They're not going to go ahead and commit the Rift Herald here in the top lane because... Champions like with a lot of high-powered and high-value ultimates towards the later stages of the game. A lot of extra damage coming through from Keen. The utility is great from Khan as Sleep does come through. Death Charge comes down as well. Dreadline's good as there's the Shockwave. Only lands on to one, but that might be all they need as Bang looks to try and collect the kill with the Void Seeker, but instead just has to agree that he'll take down Barrel and Side. Oh. And when you have, hold that thought, Red. Yeah, that is all his trouble now. here. Spins around a lot as there are so many AoE abilities. It will be picked up by uh, Canyon in the end as Fly cops a gameplay button to the Felios. So if you can get into position, they're actually just not here. Simply put, and that's just going to go over a freeze. I want Kiev to get something else on the map. They're just going to lose this fight. Yep, massive CC chain there on Canyon. He wasn't allowed to play the game. They just said no. And Lahens has been playing very, very well in this one. Fly, decent flash, gets him out of the way. And just the tip. I feel like that's a lot more valuable on a Graves a lot of the time. As you're going to see a big engage here. Yep, Bang going to have to flash out as well. There's a lot of damage from the Lilia. And that no flash that you were talking about comes into great effect here for Darmon Kia as this Mountain Drake has just spawned. Those four to stack up that Darmon have might just be a reality, or at least it is here for the first one. Canyon going to be easily able to take that one down. And Darmon Kia get a whole bunch of control back in this game. Still yeah. extraordinarily even for both of these squads, but... We've already got an ornamented... Just a small mistake that cost them big. Well, this one might cost them as well, as there's the exhaust down onto Keen. Thankfully, Khan can just build himself summoner spells whenever he loses um, them. Because that's a nice double stun out from Showmaker. Just grabs the pick under the hands. He'll, tra he'll trade it, but takes a lantern to get himself out of the way of the shockwave. And that is going to be another comfortable kill. The triple sleep from Dread is just way too late. And Darmon Key will take down the inner turret here as well. Sleep is too late, but the damage output of Ghost is just... And Khan's just able to teleport in as soon as Shoemaker gets the information. And uh, Darmon Kia just give up nothing. And Afrika... The one um, that he's put together just has a few extra stats. Doesn't really mean too much. His Canyon going to take a lantern, gets himself out of almost all of the CCs. Lahan's just going for the forced engage. There's the shockwave. They get rid of Canyon. Ghost has to flash, but Bang has a flash after him. As the Moonlight Vigil not going to be enough, and... Barrel also going to get tidied up here by Afrika. So many Barons now missing as Khan going 1v5. Showmaker's is yeah. here, but he misses the stun. Khan has the flash. I'm just not sure. It's really good, decisive decision making in late game on the Kaisa he's had. Is okay, oh, fly. No. Yeah, fly. Caught out of position. Didn't have anything available. No flashes were going to save him from that one. And uh, that is going to mean Darmon Kia just walked towards this inhibitor turret and Keen's like, where are my friends at? And Bang's like, I'm in a side lane as per usual. And Darmon Kia very easily just shred this turret down. Ghost has exactly the right weapons for doing as much turret damage as possible. And uh, this inhibitor not long for the world either. And this is right when the Baron is back on the map. They've got yes. lanterns to Why take. is one of the best ones to control this zone that Afrika have with Shockwave. And I mean, even walking over here is is probably overzealous. Just gonna try to chunk down Damwon Kia, who do get the Baron very freely. They're still at full health too. And Fly is spawning in two seconds. Guess teleport, but what are you fighting over? Realization from Damwon Kia and Lahens is now. I'm not even sure. He's going on a merry ride as Ghost is gonna chase after him. He's got Gravitum, so that's just going to be a stun and uh, destruction out from the Aphelios. And once I mean, again, I mean, it feels like a Freaker have kind of fallen apart at this stage of the game. 
figuring that they don't have very much that they can actually do. Lahan was being put down. Yep, Lahan is just grasping at straws. I mean, he was hoping for a flank hook, um, to set up for a pick. Maybe you know, see a killer instinct come in after that and isolate a target, but looks silly when it fails, you know? Absolutely, another Ornhorn is going to land right on top of Fly Cannon Barrage. Pretty decent here. There's Ghost, I believe, throughout the ultimate. No, actually still holds onto it. But they're still able to grab themselves the turret. This inhibitor going to be the next prize on their mind. The bottom lane actually slow pushing in for Darmon Kier as well, I believe. So great control of these minion look at, waves. Look at Dread. He wants to set up a big sleep. That's their window back into this... Ah, uh, only hits two, but they could collapse. They have to. They have two very good ones as the stopwatch is fantastic. Timing on the shockwave also good, but not good enough. Moonlight Vigil comes down and Lahens has to go into his stopwatch to avoid it. Canyon's going to go down, I believe, very, very far away from the fight. But Showmaker is a raid boss right now, able to eviscerate anyone that comes near him. And there is no one beefy enough to stand on the front line. I mean, Lahens was their only real choice, and he wasn't even strong enough, really, as Khan. He's the super tank, and another kill going over to Showmaker. That's an unofficial triple, I believe, as now he's looking for his next one. Ghost is going to be able to pick it up. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the game. Darm one Kier will be able to take down these, in, these Nexus turrets, then the Nexus, and then get themselves some reprieve after their difficult series against Bro. <laughs> Ornhorn one more time. Khan escapes. Oh. Calculated. Calculated. Absolutely. Well, Atlas, this is definitely not a game that anyone's going to write home about, but Afrika Freaks have struggled. We're going to see something a little bit off here, a little oh, bit odd. Damn. Otherwise, we would have seen it picked earlier, and there's going to be the Lee Sen coming through here for Dread. And it'll be. Fun. Yeah. Can't actually get that Dread? angle effectively as Dread. Yeah, in exactly the right spot. See whether the E's there, and it's not. Just. Had to wait for the cooldown a little bit too long as the spear is going to miss as well. So first blood going to the lead. A lot of happy feeding here from Dread, who sees Canyon starting off this Rift Herald, immediately backs away from the blue buff that he was heading towards before and wastes a lot of time happy feeding. Keen, though, finds his way in. There will be a slice for Khan to try and get him out of that queue. Somehow misses from Dread, and Khan decides that he wants to take the fight. The kickback comes in as now Khan closing the gap onto Fly, who doesn't have a lot of mana left over. Canyon fighting one versus two isn't really what you want. A safeguard is going to get the lease into safety, and now Canyon one versus three. Don't really like those odds, unfortunately, as Fly barely going to survive his barrel. Can he get the crash down? He does. Lands it. Onto the Syndra, and so Canyon's going to have his blushes. Three and oh, Voidseeker going to miss. So no Killer Instinct opportunity or anything like that, and they grab Ghost's heal for free. Oh, Fly is in trouble. Oh no, he's dead, Wolf. It's not in trouble. He was dead. Not much to farm, and the least, the least in the era of this game, the timing where it was going to be powerful is over. We've passed it now. And even yep. though he's 2-0, he hasn't done enough. And he hasn't helped Ooh. control the lanes. This is sick from Keen, though. Khan takes two turret shots that he couldn't afford to take. Fat Flash follow from Keen. And he's the most difficult flash in the game. I love it. Absolutely. Maybe not the most difficult. I think um, it could be one of the ones. I'm going to have to hold that thought here as well. In a whole host of trouble. Going to be taken down very early. It's Ghost. Not sure what that was about, mate. There are four people there. Yeah, we'll have to check the replay on that one as Khan's looking for revenge here in the top lane, <laughs> it looks like, just based on his movement. I think Keen will be fine. Yeah, we'll have to see the replay as to what led to that, but at the same time, Showmaker gets mid turret. Khan really wants to force the issue here. Yeah, it almost angry. feels personal at this point. You're going to be surprised about Afrika going for a Cloud Drake here as Khan one Kier moving towards Dread, but there is certainly something lying in wait here as unfortunately Barrel out of position yet again. Able to create some distance, but Bang's going to be able to grab that kill. And the Samira starting to get online. 2-0-1 yeah. now. And Darmon Kier feeling the brunt of what was some pretty poor plays there made towards the bottom side. Keen. Keen looking to try and punish Ghost yet again. Five people down here. The flash comes through. Mini stun against the wall there as Ghost going to get dove and destroyed. Keen is, I don't know, on another level on this uh, Gragas play right now, but they're still not able to grab this Drake and it's going to be another melee League of Legends with that particular play. As uh, Samira being able to hold him in place is just uh, so scary. We're going to have to hold that thought as well as Bang yeah, he's trying to get that really big S but he's just uh, going to have to do that from the death chamber, I believe. Unfortunately, stuck in the wrong spot. There's Showmaker going to flash. And Fly moves pretty fast. Showmaker is underneath the turret. And that was a slight overextension there for the yeah. Tom on Kia mid laner. Put a little bit of a humanoid there. Uh, oh. 
dear. Yeah, bottom side also not being so good for Ghost, who is landing that Q, but Fly turning up here should make things once again very tough for Showmaker. Great scout of the week as the gameplay comes in, and Bang has actually hand-delivered the kill as the uh, ulti's not quite enough damage. So very nice as uh, Showmaker once again stepping a little bit too far forward. Surely going to take a bit of a walk here towards the inner turret. And Canyon going to miss that spear. Kane just happily able to poke her in the eye, but he's going to miss his barrel. And that might mean that he's going to fall down. Oh, the... Oh, the... That was just amazing. Out of lands actually broke my brain for a little bit. The pulverize just beautiful, but just yep. not enough. Unfortunately, and someone here are going to take it. I apologize, everyone. Pulverize just uh, it evaded me. Couldn't quite remember what it was called. Yeah. There's a lot of abilities, you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess. A lot of but, uh, you know, Alistair effect. also a very new champion, so uh, you can understand why I'd forget it, you know? Well, you know. in the game for very long. As, uh, the inhibitor turret's going to go down, and it looks like Dom and Kia are going to go for the inhibitor as well. you got to make room for all those Aphelios abilities, or, you know, uh, as we've tried to ignore Samira's uh, ult name and some of her abilities, because they're... Is the spear going to hit Lehens? That one hurts. Afrika are desperate for vision here, and they know that Don Juan Kia is just trying to force a fight, which is why they're being so timid. And Bang is slowly helping to clear these wards away. Um, and it's a slow Baron clear, with only Ghost Cannon and Showmaker on it, so Afrika are going to fight their way in here. But it might be too late. Yeah, Barrel going to dive on forward, but he's smacked back immediately. The Baron's also going down while this is all being said. It's Bang! Caught in the Magnet Storm, and the Baron's now going to be given away. Feral, very, very low, but Lehens also has to get himself out, as that's a great kick. And that's going to secure the kill on the Canyon. The Rel being brought back into the fight as well as Keen finds the target he's looking for. Ghost, Khan, and Showmaker now against the world. They have a lot of damage, but now it's Khan that's being caught by himself. The rest of Afrika on the approach. And they've lost no one in this battle. Khan, I mean, he's very durable at this point in the game, but unfortunately can't do anything in the face of five people. Yeah, and Damwon here... denying this, even with low hit point bars. It's pretty unrealistic barrels here as well now. The Baron's doing a lot of work. As Lahens gets over the wall, I believe, with a Hex Flash. As now the stun comes down, but Lahens is just going to die. Flash out from Showmaker. Arden Blaze comes in and Ghost looking to try and tidy this one up. It was an optimistic Baron and they were punished for it. As now Canyon's chasing after Dread. Safeguard might be able to help him, but Khan has said no to any of this. He just wants to win the game. Yeah. The back is going to come through. It's Keen against the world, which is kind of what this game has felt like. And Darwin Kia went from throwing to winning about as quickly as you possibly can. Nexus turret number two goes down, and this game, ladies and gentlemen, is over at 25 and a half minutes. It's 8,000 in the lead as Damon here. It felt so much like Afrika might have been able to find themselves back into the game. It was Dread's first death, but still, they were too far behind, and Damon here are going to make it a 2-0. Flash, flashes of brilliance from Dom Juan in these two games, but a lot closer, I think, than most people would have expected, even after the Fred at Breon loss. And even though they clean it up in the...